Ready, guys? Yes. Let's go. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> nice jump there. Okay, so uh, the first and obvious thing with uh, the Mavic drone is that it's pretty fast to uh, get ready to run. So first, let's fire it up. I have it in the backpack. So here we have it, firing it up, putting it to the ground. Getting this in here. This is actually the most tricky part when you're not used to it. So there we have it, ready to go. Everything's okay. The settings I'm using today, let's check them out. I'm gonna go for Cine-like. Now I'm gonna go for D-log with the custom style of, yeah, zero, zero, plus one in D-log mode. I found it on YouTube yesterday. So there we have it with the style settings. I'm shooting 2.7K with the 24 frames per second. I like the cinematic look with the 24 frames per second. And also I try to use uh, the histogram right here to figure out what my exposure sh settings should be like. Shutter speed on 50, like twice the amount of the frames per second and then I think we should be good to go now all I need is the kids oh, I'm just gonna start a video recording here so video is on there we have it airborne It's a really nice precision on this thing. So, first off, let's try the active track mode. I can try it on myself, actually. Uh, active track. Just put it out here a bit. This is kind of new for <coughs> the active track feature. Because I never used anything like this before and while you are in active track you can take it down a bit no actually you can't you can you can take it up but you can only take it down to a certain point i can take it away a bit it's kind of twitchy in the air there is some wind today and now i need the kids to uh, be test subject for this one so I'm just gonna land right here. Let's get the kids and try the active track for real. You're gonna be test subjects and run and the drone will chase you. Oh, hello. I have ten, in ten. Just gonna set up the active track here. Ready, steady, or oh, go! So here we go. The drone has a follow. Also spring in circle. Run Haley, it's chasing you. <laughs> this is awesome. Also tillbaka. Hero, tillbaka. Hero, Haley, Hero. Hero, come. This way Haley. So active track yes. works great. Maybe we can try the profile mode on like myself or something. Okay, so I will active track myself. Like this. Yeah, so that is kind of interesting. Uh, it is a lot of wind today, but I think it's working out pretty good. Then we have this other problem. It is really cold. I'm freezing my hands off already. That's about the first start, I guess. Just trying out some functions. 
I guess one could get some awesome shots as well before we get out of here. So yeah, let's try something and then pack up. I do realize when I'm like picking it together it's like where are all the stuff <laughs> but that's it you just fold it in put it there I mean look at this setup I have I am using the douche bag I have the pelican divider so here I can fit the Canon camera the controller here is the drone it takes up like no space at all I have extra batteries and everything so Extra lens for the Canon, the charger, it's pretty much everything I need. One thing I don't have is a babysitter, because the kids are like, oh that's fun dad, but now screw you dad, we are going somewhere else. So uh, I'll have to get back to this part later. Hey dad, I'm bringing a twig. That's not a twig, that's an entire tree. Nobody ever listens to dad anymore. <laughs> So there are so many videos out there on YouTube where they test pretty much everything on the DJI Mavic. I don't believe that I can tell you anything new really. I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about the feeling when you're using your equipment. The Phantom series, uh, they do stick out. They are white, they are big, you need a backpack. And every time I mount this thing, I feel like the whole world is watching me. Like, oh my god, what does he have there? It is a drone? Yeah, it is a drone. It sticks out. You could paint it like black or something, but it sticks out. But with the Mavic, it is so tiny and it's black and it has a low profile when you fold it out. The profile is so low that people walking by it they don't even notice it when you want to go creative and you don't want to be disturbed by somebody coming up asking questions or not liking drones or whatever the biggest benefit of the Mavic compared to the Phantom is that it's very discreet it's it's very silent uh, I mean I can barely hear it like 50 meters away hovering above the ground I would say that the footage from the camera, what I've seen so far, concludes that it is good enough for what I plan to use it for. I'm not a drone photographer. My main purpose is not to make only drone videos. My, what I do is that I tell a story about something that I like, and that is the Canon is my primary camera. And this is like a compliment for showing surroundings or getting some cool shots. So the video quality for me is really good considering that I always can bring it with me when wherever I go. Previously I've been in so many situations with the Phantom that uh, where I could not bring the Phantom and I was out on the scene. There's been so many situations where... Oh, there's too much light here. So many situations where I wish I had a drone with me but I did not so that situation will never happen again back to the, the size part with the controller this is the Phantom 3 professional controller it is the same size as all the controllers in the Phantom series it is really big and uh, if you have an iPad on here it will be very heavy. If you have an iPhone, it's much lighter. Positive, this one charges your tablet or phone with the port here while you're using it. The Mavic controller, oh, it is very small, but it does not power your tablet. So DJI actually has a solution for this. 
when you buy the fly more combo you get an adapter for the for the battery this is what the adapter look like here you have the adapter and you can fit it onto your battery like this you turn the battery on and boom you have a power pack which can power your phone just plug in the USB cable charging your iPhone because let me tell you this when you fly the Mavic with the iPhone 6s plus or 7 plus or whatever it just devours your battery life and uh, if it's cold outside it's good to to have this kit with you all the time so you can always charge your phone a bit before you fly and afterwards this is a really good solution it's just about getting used to it size comparison let's talk about the feel when you use it if you ever played video games like PlayStation you're gonna feel very familiar with this one and also let's get back to the stealth part I mean when you have a black iPhone mounted in this controller it does not show who is operating the drone so when you stand like this and run your drone nobody even knows that you are the one operating the drone so you are kind of discreet there as well but with this one next strap big iPad everybody knows that you are the one using the drone so once more the Mavic is like a spy drone it's small you can't see it in the sky you can't hear it in the sky the controller is invisible and this is the thing I love the most about the Mavic compared to the Phantom is that you do not have to be disturbed when you're taking your shot because if they somehow spot the drone which I think they will not they will not know that you are the one operating it so I like that as well uh, we did just a short flight not even a whole battery it was cold outside and we are down to 85% battery so you will have to charge this controller a lot more than you did with the Phantom I guess that's about my first conclusions about the Mavic um, some other things to take into consideration before I mean first do a few flights with it try it out but if you really want to get good shots you should really watch out other YouTube channels when they show you the classic drone shots uh, there are like maybe four to ten aerial maneuvers that are really nice because when you get your drone you just want to like fly around that's not gonna work out because when you sit down to do the edit you have no material to work with so that's about all I can think of for now I guess it would take a few days to figure out all of the functions of the drone but uh, it's a really nice machine and so far I am uh, very happy with the results. So that's it for today guys, enough with the Mavic, uh, it was like the first flight so to conclude this I think that the Mavic is a better machine because you are more discreet, you don't piss off people, you are in constant stealth mode and that makes me relaxed and I can get my shot instead of having to worry about people finding me, the drone haters. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did uh, please subscribe or comment or give thumbs up, down, whatever. I only had this channel for a few months so uh, comment below what you want to know and I will try to answer it. So until the next video, see you around. Haley, you really need to stop eating the dirty snow. Must l just look at you, it's like dirt everywhere. Come on, let's go. Go home and eat something.